Good morning. This is our Wednesday Facebook Live, and we're doing pin cushions today. Of course, I'm using flamingos. I bet you that doesn't shock you. Okay, so what you want to do is I have a pattern. Just go on, and they are now PDF, and you can uh, download them. Don't ask me how she knows how. Lindsay's the guru of all that. Okay, so all you have to do is take a charm pack or cut yourself five by five inch squares. Then what you do is I have the directions to do my rectangles on edge, to do my three quarter inch scallops, my one, my three quarter inch mini points, and my rectangles on edge. Okay, so first of all, what you want to do is those. I have directions, I have tutorials all on YouTube, Facebook, first and my of all, website. What you want to do is those. Please have make sure that you like us and you comment and you put your name in for a drawing. I'm giving away a panel of this adorable, this is by Jody Houghton. Okay, it's adorable flamingo fabric. I think it's so cute. It's a panel. I was across from her at Piala, and I think I bought her out a house and home of all of her flamingo. She was like, really? I said, yes, really. So what you want to do, once again, is trace around your ruler. That's a friction pen here somewhere. Yep. Yeah. And with the rectangles on edge, all you have to do is mark your centers. There's no deep V. So all you have to do is mark your centers. Because this one, all you have to do is drop your stitch length to two and sew on your line. Unlike my other rulers. So trace around your ruler. Mark just your centers. Of course, move it down. Everything tells you exactly how to do it in the directions. Okay. Then you sew, drop your stitch thing to two, sew right on the line. Then you cut it an eighth of an inch from your sew line, just like you do when you applique. You just want to get rid of all that extra fabric you don't need. Okay. There's directions for my mini points, there's directions for my scallops, there's directions for them all. And if you go on my YouTube, Facebook, or my website, there's tutorials underneath each ruler. I want you to know what to do. Honey, I'm a visual. I don't read directions. I suck. I did hair for a living, honey. Mm -hmm. Show me, don't tell me to read it. You just make sure that you do the corners. Then all you have to do is cut through one layer only, or you'll have two halves and bye bye binding. And you'll only do it once. Then I have these cut lines. I couldn't put them all the way through, my rulers would break. You cut through the top layer all the way through. Then you put right sides out. Then take a little spray starch. Then I have a little tool called the pusher. Of course, I got a pusher, honey. There's no way I'm going to do this. This is for this. This is so you don't end up in a rubber room with a rubber toilet and chair. Make sure you comment, like us, so you can be put in a drawing for a free panel of flamingo fabric. It's way cute. When I do these, I usually do the large humps first so you have something to hang on to. Otherwise, the small humps are too hard to do. I just do this while I watch a movie. Lots of mini series, honey. Lots of mini series.
then here's my mini points same basic thing the only thing is you trace around your ruler same thing with the scallops trace around your ruler mark your centers mark your endpoints please mark everything on the ruler the only difference with this it does have the deep V just like when you garment sew or you do any type of sewing like this you want to come down, stop, pivot, do one stitch across, one stitch across, one stitch across. Anytime you have a DV, you need one stitch across to have space to turn. Just remember, my grandmother will slap you. I've never forgotten just because of that. She had to get my attention. I was a little ADHD. Then you want to cut an eighth of an inch from your sew line like you do when you applique. Because you want to get rid of all your extra fabric you do not need. You can clip it, you can pink it, but this is a much easier way to do it. I want to do the easiest, but I want it to be extremely perfectionistic. Then, once more time, you just go through one layer only, or you'll have two halves and bye-bye binding. And you'll only do it once. And that's why I have these cut lines. Once again, I couldn't put it all the way through or the rulers would break. I just got back from Phoenix. Wonderful show. Had an awesome time. Thank you. And... I am coming back next year for the show. Then you put right sides out. And in this little bitty corner where I've just got this little skinny little dude, I usually use my rat tail comb. I forgot to bring it down, so I'm going to use this little guy. Don't poke through the fabric. Okay, the nice thing about the pusher for the mini points. Where did I put the little thing? There it is. One size fits all sizes. It's also awesome for pushing out pillowcase corners, hot pads, anything that is a corner. And I did not make it so sharp that it goes through your fabric. Because that would drive me crazy. Then all you have to do... Put your seam allowance and push it. And I got a little guy right here. And you guys get the idea. Then I fold it in half. Then you can either gather it or take your ruffler. Whoops. And it looks like this. Okay. Then what you want to do is, of course, find your center. So I just put it in fourths. I find my center. And I mark it with my friction pen. But you already have the dot anyways, the center. Then what I do... Make sure it's exactly as I like it. And what I do is I glue it all the way around, or I pin it, or I do both, whichever works. And then it looks like this, but I use rectangles on edge in this one. 
before I turn it all the way around. Then I put a button on it. You could use a pink, white, you could use a black on it. I put a button, then I sew the button on. Okay. And I zigzag it all the way around. I just leave enough room so you can zigzag it all the way around. Then the corners, all you have to do is I just cut them like at an angle so they're nice and crisp. And then I put right sides out. And I use my little pusher to get right in there and get the corners nice and crisp. And actually, I use that. iron on it. I don't have to do anything else. I'm getting lazy as I get old. Lazy or smarter, I'm not quite sure what it is. Spray starch. Move it down. Make sure you comment, like us, and we're giving away a panel of this absolutely amazing flamingo fabric. It's the cutest thing. I just absolutely love it. Well, you know me and flamingos. I love flamingos, anyways. Then what you do is I gotta learn to say instead of just nuts. <laughs> it is walnut shells and it does sharpen your pins. And it's about a cup and I have a funnel because otherwise I'd make a royal mess and I don't really want a royal mess. And hopefully I won't get this all over. Lindsay's over there looking. <laughs> Turn it around so everybody can see the whole bag. Okay. And it's cheapest at the pet supply store. You just get it at a pet supply store and it's much less expensive. I'm tempted to cut it, but if I cut it, I have a feeling I may have a really big mess. And that wouldn't be such a good idea. It is taped very well, honey. You can buy it in like 40, 50 pound bags, I think. And that's usually how I buy it. So it's ground walnut shell bedding. It's much less expensive if you buy it there. And I just take it, put like my little funnel in here. I get a cup. Fill this little baby. I did make kind of a mess, but not too bad. I'll sweep it later. I love pin cushions anyways. I just think they're so cute. Also, I love Orifil thread. I love my ruffler. I use glue a whole lot because I want to make life easy. You don't want it full, but you don't want it so full that you can't sew the end. Otherwise, it'll drive you nuts.
Now what I do is go with a quarter inch. Alright, hang on. Open this glue up. Hang on a momento. This is Jalili's apple glue. I absolutely love it. It's water soluble, acid free. It doesn't gum up my machine. And I'm always into stuff that doesn't ruin my machine. here and go quarter inch down. Open up the team. Put it down. Then you just glue it together once you've got your quarter inch and yippy skippy all you got to do is sew it. Then you have all the walnut shells driving you wacko all over. But anything with whole mangoes is cute. I'll just do a little press. Now we can sew it. Make sure you back stitch. Okay, 
are the little babies. Back up the walnut shells just a little. They're kind of encroaching upon my team. so cute. We have a pin cushion. Cute gift. Cute thing to do at a retreat. Something simple, something cute. And voila, we have a pin cushion. Okay, now what's new? Next week I will do something. I have new rulers. Okay, they are right here. Okay, my new rulers are the pillow last week that I showed you. It is half and half. It's half many points, half scallop. If you have the one inch scallops, the pusher will fit. And the mini point, of course, fits any size. Okay. Then I have alternating. You can use it as a binding. You can use half of it. It's absolutely darling. I'll show you a sample or example of both of them. And this is our new rulers. And then in about three weeks, I have half axes in two sizes. And just cute just cute so please put your comments in and you're going to do a drawing for a cute panel of this darling flamingo so next week on wednesday we're going to be doing new rulers my half and half mini point and scallop and my alternating mini point and scallop Thank you so very much for watching, and yeah, let me do my... And the winner is... Christine, is it Mimi or Memmy? Just send your address, and Lindsay will send you a panel of the Darling Flamingos, which flamingos are the best. And God bless, and see you next time. Thank you.